As always, thanks to all the wonderful Aptera investors, my fellow Aptera reservation holders, and our Aptera Cures friends for tuning in again. If you're planning on reserving an Aptera, please consider using my link below to save $30 on your reservation. A huge thanks to all of you who continue to watch and everyone that subscribed recently, pushing me close to 440 subscribers. I hope you enjoy this sunrise photo my wife got on our vacation. I thought this would be another quiet week, but wow, I was wrong. It looks like whoever is in charge of the accelerator program took the slowdown in the program to audit the investments. This week saw a lot of change in surprising ways. In this video, I'm going to recap the 23rd week of Aptera's accelerator program. My numbers are based on the July 8th, 3.06 p.m. update. Nothing I say in this video should be considered investment advice. I am not an accountant or financial advisor. Please do your own research before investing, and investing especially in a pre-production startup company is very risky, and Aptera is still looking for a large-scale investment from an institutional investor or a significant grant to start production. Even with the accelerator program temporarily closed, to non-accredited investors, their crowdfunding efforts continue to grow. Republic reports a little over 1.42 million raised, and the accelerator program has raised almost $19.33 million. As I'm sure no one expected, week 23 was the largest week of investment since week 12, except for week 21 when they paused the program and got a lot of new investment. Week 23 saw an increase of almost $500,000. This brings Aptera much closer to their $20 million goal. With less than $700,000 to go, I'm sure they will break the $20 million when they reopen the program. This pie chart shows the cumulative amount raised by each week's group of investors. Week 23 is a new low in investments added with only a little more than $70,500 raised. So how do we have one of the most successful weeks in recent history and week 23 only saw four new investors? The bar chart that compares each week's performance with the previous week's numbers shows that a lot of investments were shuffled around as many weeks lost investments, and some weeks saw significant boosts. This leads me to believe that they audited the accelerator reporting and fixed some of the investment allocations that might have been the same account or needed to be moved to a different week. Breaking out the changes each week in the, to a spreadsheet shows 16 of the 22 previous weeks saw some change in investments. Surprisingly, 10 weeks lost some investments and only 6 saw gains. Most weeks only lost one investor and even week 5 that lost over $50,000 only lost 2 investors. But week 12 alone made up for the loss in investment. Week 10 also saw large gains with over $140,000 added, but the biggest boost was week 3 that gained over $360,000 and amazing 22 new investors on March 16th alone. It is even more impressive looking at it, the investments on a daily level. When one compares week 3 to week 23, which only gained 4 investors, the most significant investment was made on June 1 of over $36,000. Even with the large number of investors added to week 3, there was a significant number of investor allocations that were lost. That resulted in a net gain of only 16 new investors added in week 23, which is still a strong showing after the program was put on hold. The new investors were pretty evenly spaced with one investor on each of the four days. Week 23 brings the total number of investors to 1,335, but when compared to last week, you will see a major shift in the makeup of investors. Prior investor numbers took a huge hit, losing 13 investors to make 758 in total. This is what made me think that Aptera audited the reporting in the accelerator program. Subsequently, new investor numbers got a boost of 29 investors added to bring their total to 577 and making up 43% of all investors. The percentage raised by new investors also reached a new high of 45% of the total invested. The total raised from new investors saw a boost of almost $500,000 bringing their total to $8.63 million. The total added by prior investors stayed about the same at $10.7 million. The week 23 average invested per person was very high at over $17,600, but this is due to having only 4 investors and 1 investor adding $36,000 by themselves. The overall average from the accelerator program went up by over $277 because the program consolidated a number of previously reported investments. The top 15 Aptera vehicle spots did not see any change this week. 
Well, we do see a new addition to the top 15 accelerator program investors. SS from North Carolina jumped in at number six spot, but with their $122,000 investment, only got them vehicle number 24 for now. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, like and share to help our channel grow. And below you'll find links to our website, evolveelectric.org, our Twitter and Instagram.